we're doing a get ready with me for our little date night um, I'm gonna start out with this moisturizer from Laneige this is the water bank just a little travel size that I got at Sephora but I want to just add some moisture to my skin I just took off my makeup that I had earlier for brunch and just like the earlier part of the day and I'm just gonna put on some um, like nighttime makeup basically so I'm gonna put this all over we had a fun day today today we ended up going to the mall y'all know how to find me a mall y'all know how to find a mall i'm gonna put a little bit of sunscreen um we went to the mall called blue i think it's called blue mall punta cana um it was really nice it's had the perfect storage for me they had zara um so i definitely went in there that was the biggest zara i've ever seen in my whole life it was huge you guys and they had a zara home which i never heard of so they had like home stuff um really nice stuff that i would have definitely purchased if i lived here but obviously i can't buy i can't buy it because how am i gonna get it home so i'm gonna go and see i never noticed if zara had a website for home stuff so i'm gonna actually look that up to see because maybe that's a thing but i just never noticed so anyways they had really cute things I picked up two pieces you guys know I only packed um, a hand luggage so I couldn't really get too much but I did pick up a shirt that I have never seen at my Zara and then I also picked up a really nice um, hair accessory that I could wear tonight um, I thought it was really cute I'll show you guys in a second I think they just have so much more because Zara is apparently a Spanish owned company I didn't know that I thought it was I don't know why I thought it was um, French for some reason I don't know why but it's definitely Spanish like thinking about it I'm like oh this definitely sounds more Spanish than French but anyways yeah so that happened earlier I was really excited because it was such a beautiful store um, I'm gonna put this concealer um, we also I also went to Pandora because whenever I go on a vacation I like to get charms or like you know when I go places special events or whatever so I get ended up getting this new charm here for our little trip I thought it was so cute the other side says love travels I thought it was perfect so I got that I'm about to use my mirror because it's hard to see I'm just gonna blend in my concealer I bought, I don't know why I brought this sponge, like I really hate this sponge, but for some reason I thought it was another sponge, another black sponge. I need to throw this away because I really hate it. <laughs> um. So the restaurant we're going to tonight is called um, La Yola and I read that it was a really good restaurant. It has like really amazing reviews and it's here on the resort. Um, like compound area this is kind of like a compound it's like five different resorts in one particular area and you can kind of go to each one's restaurants and stuff like that so it's really nice if you're looking to just stay local like in the punta kind of like touristy area i'm the type of person that likes to do touristy things y'all like i'm not i'm the type of person that likes to just relax and chill on the beach in the hotel i'm not really door the explorer <laughs> when it comes to vacation i know a lot of people are like i have a lot of friends who are like they like to explore i don't i like to just relax and enjoy just chilling you know that's my that's my vibe so and obviously shopping go to the mall <laughs> i'll go to the mall <laughs> that's about it but um i do like excursions sometimes it just depends on um, what type of excursion it is down here a lot of the excursions have to do with water um, and I don't really I don't swim so I don't do water things I actually need to work on that I need to sign myself up for swimming lessons but anyways um yeah I don't do that and then like I told you I, I don't I mentioned this in my other video but we had signed up for buggy a buggy excursion but i noticed right before the day before we arrived i noticed that the excursion um the buggies were stick shift 
and we don't know how to drive stick shift, so we couldn't do it, um, basically. Thankfully, we realized before we got there, because that would have been horrible. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it was fine though. We really had a great time yesterday. It was amazing. So yeah, next I'm gonna do some powder. We're gonna do this Fenty powder in cashew. And I'm gonna just put some under my eye. Let me just see what time, it's 6.30. Um, we're staying at the Westin uh, Resort in Punta Cana, and I actually really like it. It's very chill, like not too crazy. If you're looking for something that's like more of a scene, this is not it. This is very relaxing, very like family friendly type of hotel. But I like it because they have like a lot of things that or they have a lot of things nearby so they have the beach like playa blanca is literally like we walk there we we uh, we took a taxi to go there because they provide free taxis for anything in the compound that we're at um like we got a free shuttle to the book to the mall and then um you just gotta get this little paper stamped by three stores and then it's free you don't have to shop at the stores but you just they want you to visit the stores basically basically so um what was i gonna say yeah they provide um but they do provide taxi to the beach but the beach is literally like a minute away from where we are so you can walk there if you really wanted to so i really like that um i really like that about it they have a lot of things for kids like it looks like a nice place to take kids as well so yeah we definitely want to visit again with the kids it's so beautiful down here I don't know if the lighting is like played tricks on me like sometimes it looks dark sometimes it looks too bright I don't know what's going on like why is it doing this so my makeup is pretty much done I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer change the exposure because it was like looking way too I don't know like now it looks too bright whatever I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer this is my benefits who love bronzer I literally just brought this one it's one of my favorites but also the container is so small i figured it would, it would fit perfectly in my bag so that's why i brought it this is the toasted one for deeper skin tones uh, y'all i got my hair wet last night and i really wish i really wish i had purchased travel size shampoo and conditioner before i got hair because I got the keratin treatment so I can't use regular shampoo and conditioner so I can't really shampoo my hair until I get home and I really want to shampoo it to get the chlorine out so yeah I did wet it but I like to kind of wash it out but I definitely need to um, shampoo the chlorine out of my hair because that's definitely not good for me. <laughs> All right, so what next? All right, so I think that's pretty much it. I always did my brows um, and then I did my lashes earlier. I didn't take them off, I just left them on from this morning. And I'm using these Ardell lashes here. Yeah, she threw it out. Um, but this is the style, it's the Naked Lash in 421. So did that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I have a little reel where I showed my makeup from earlier today and in that reel you can see the lash package because I showed it because I showed it in that video. Alright so I'm gonna do my Charlotte spray this one Ooh. this thing kept me secured all trip long. I have been wearing makeup every day since I've been here because I just honestly like when you want to take pictures and you don't have makeup it just does not hit the same so I just feel like Put on makeup and even if it's a little bit, just so my pictures get hit. Okay. <laughs> and also you feel better. So who doesn't want to feel better? <laughs> so makeup is is. You guys see my tan I got going on here? I love this. I love this tan. Caribbean tan is different. Like this is the same tan I get when I go to San Lucia. It's a different tan than New York tan. Like I like this tan. Okay, so what else do I have to do? 
my lips okay for my lips today i'm gonna wear my colorful let me turn this off for my lips i'm gonna wear my red um not red i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna wear this little combo from nima and some colors Mm, I actually saw that they're bringing back the brown version of this and I definitely want it so I need to go I need to go see what day they're bringing that back at first I didn't think I would like it but now I, I definitely want it <laughs> uh, I just did a little bit of the gloss that's good and then for my lower lashes I'm just gonna put on some of this Charlotte Tilbury mascara and then I think will pretty much be done just here we keep hearing thunder and i really hope that it's not gonna rain because the rain um it says it's gonna rain but it says it's gonna rain at nine o'clock so our reservation is for 7 30 so i'm hoping the rain does not come earlier my eyes are red from the chlorine that would not be cute that will ruin my whole plan all right y'all so yeah i think so I so apparently it's raining um hopefully it's not too crazy <sighs> that's annoying <laughs> i'm happy it didn't rain yesterday or thursday but apparently there's like a tropical storm nearby somewhere i think so um for my hair i I think I'm gonna wear my Newport wig today. If it rains really badly, we're just gonna go to the hotel restaurant. It's actually really good. The food is really good. I was just trying to go to this restaurant because obviously it's different and we haven't been there yet. Um, but the one at the hotel, the food is really good. We've been eating a lot of like the different fish. Like we had salmon, we had mahi mahi. Oh my God, I love mahi mahi. I actually forgot how much I like it it's one of my it's definitely one of my favorite fishes because it's like a white fish and but it's thick like salmon I really like that fish so so yeah yeah just gonna oh, not gonna expose y'all one second <laughs> all right I'm just gonna put my hair in a low bun low-ish bun when it's too low it doesn't work with the u-part wig I'm gonna put it low ish and then I'm gonna put a little bun back here. So I have my wig, and this is the wig that I put the clips in the other day before the trip because I wanted to be able to clip it in properly with these clips. I actually sewed this in before we left, so I'm gonna test it out. Hopefully, they work. Hopefully, I did a good job. And then I'm gonna clip. I think I need to clip a little higher. All right, so for my hair, I'm just gonna put it down and around. And it's super hot, you guys. It's super hot here, as you would imagine. Um, but I don't mind the heat. It's like very breezy because we're by the ocean, so the heat is not, is the heat is definitely bearable. Um, it's not like unbearable. So I'm gonna pin my hair like on the sides and I pin it I'm gonna pin my hair to this on the sides I'll show you guys the pins so where with this hair um, yeah, I'm gonna go grab those real quick so these are the pins that I got from Zara the hair clips so I got these and then I got this one as well I took it off um, so I forgot I was gonna show y'all <laughs> So I'm gonna put this in my hair to clip it, but also add a little bit of stylishness to it. I think these are so cute. When I tell y'all this Zara had so much cute stuff and it was fully stocked, like that's one of the things with my Zara, it's never stocked. Always sold out of everything. So this one was fully stocked and full of cute things. I was so happy. Honestly, it made me wish. I honestly wish I had an extra luggage. 
when I realized how amazing it was. Oh no, I broke it. Oh, Jasmine, come on. Uh, I definitely broke one of the cutest ones. Yeah, I'll just put it on this side. All right, so this is my clips. All right, so I changed into my undergarments, which are basically, I'm wearing the Skims mesh set under my dress. I just changed into that because the towel was not doing it. It was just falling all over. So this is my hair. Um, for my edges, I'm going to put a little bit of edge control. I left my um, edge brush at home by accident. So I've been using this brush to kind of do my edges, but it's obviously like not the best tool for that so I've just kind of been doing the best I can okay. and this side and then I'm just gonna add a little bit up here Maybe like that so I'm gonna wear this dress this is my long tunic from Zara and I really love this. It's so pretty. I love this dress. Okay, I'm gonna button. I'm not gonna button it all the way. I'm gonna leave it a little bit open in the bottom. So I need to pick up my earrings. Um, for my necklace, I'm gonna keep the ones I have in right now, but I'm gonna add in another one, which I got at the mall from a store called KB. And I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, I actually got two things from Katie. I got earrings and a necklace. I'm not going to wear the earrings, but I'm going to wear the necklace. So this is what it looks like. So pretty. This store I've never heard of. So I'm assuming it's um, probably like... I'm going to look it up. It might not even... It might be a chain, but I just never heard of it. That we just went to. So I'm not sure if it's just a Punta Cana store or if it's, you know, a chain. I'm not sure. I have a lot of colorful jewelry so I'm gonna just pop in these gold hoops to just should I wear these or should I wear my other plain hoops what do y'all think I don't know I feel like this is just I feel like these hoops are too much I'll wear the plain ones I think I was not recording what okay so I'm wearing my JBW watch um, I just put that on. I also put on these hoops from the style collection. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy with the Brazilian blowout because last night I got home. Like I told y'all, my hair was a little wet from the pool. It was actually pretty wet. It was soaked because I had a bun and I dipped my head backwards, forgetting that I was supposed to not get my hair wet. Um, and it was so wet. And I combed it out after I got back home and I like washed it a little bit out, like washed it with, with water. Um, and I combed it out with my little brush, went to bed, and it came. I woke up and it was like not frizzing. There was no frizzing. It was just perfect, which is crazy because I am in such a humid environment. You would think I would get frizzing, but this Brazilian blowout is the girl. Okay, <laughs> you need. I I need. This is what I need in my life. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna wear Sundays by Burrito. Did I put deodorant on? I don't know if I did. I'm gonna put some on just in case. And then I'm gonna mix it with this Soleil Brillant from the Tom Ford. So I'm gonna wear this <laughs> just in case. I don't remember. Maybe I should check my armpits. Let me see. Yeah, I definitely didn't. <laughs> did not. Okay. The buttons on this thing are coming out really quickly. It's kind of weird. It's kind of unbuttoning itself. Thankfully, I'm wearing a whole other outfit under it, but why is it so easy to unbutton? I'll show you guys my full outfit. I was going to wear my Hermes Orient Slice of Brown ones, but since it's raining, I'm not going to wear those. I'm just going to wear my old dusty Tory Burch sandals because they're dirty. I don't care about them. Um, but yeah, I really love this outfit. This is the back here. Friends. Side action. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, girls, so this is the outfit. I love, love the accessories. I think they're perfect. My hair accessories here. I'm just gonna bring this purse because I just feel like it'll match better. It doesn't really, it doesn't really clash with the colors as much as the other bag does. This is Johnny's outfit. He's very tropical today. <laughs> so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me and thank you so much for watching i will talk to you in my next video if you want to see what we ate go check out my instagram um little highlight that says punta cana you guys will see what we ate for dinner tonight so yeah